basic animation in CreateJS. How to add a linear gradient background. Produced by Lon Hosford. This video shows how to create a gradient fill as a static background for an animation. For files and updated links used in this video, check the video description. Here is the starting practice file and the finished file for this video displayed in a web browser. The animations are identical. The difference you see is the background gradient. The ESOL.js library is used for drawing the circle and the background. The tween.js library is used for animation. To follow along, open and save the start folders index.html file in the practice folder. If the contents of this file are new to you, there are the videos reviewing all the details added so far. The ESOL.js graphics class contains methods for creating gradient fills. Once the gradient fill has begun, graphics drawing methods such as draw rec, draw circle, and draw polystar will automatically use it. We are going to use the begin linear gradient fill method. There are a number of arguments that have some interdependency. There is a list of colors in the gradient, the proportion each color is used in the gradient, and a line to indicate the direction of the gradient. We will look closer at each of these arguments when writing the code. For a background, drawing a rectangle the size of the stage can work for us. The draw rec method arguments to find the top left corner of the rectangle and the width and the height. We can use the graphics property on a new shape to do our work and add it as the first display object on the stage. First, we need to instantiate a shape. We will do that on the line after we instantiated the stage. We do not have a need for the shape after it is added to the stage, so we will make it a local variable with var, the name bg shape, and assign using a new operator, the name space create js, and the shape class constructor method. Now we can create the gradient fill. Start with the shape, the graphics object, now the begin linear gradient fill method. To make the arguments easier to read, we break them up on separate indented lines. The first argument contains an array of colors for the gradient. The first color is a light steel blue. Next color we will call moon mist. We repeat this color to keep it unchanged for part of the gradient. And the last color, a sandy brown. The second argument is an array of percentages for the gradient distance where each color fully appears. The light steel blue will begin to change to moon mist at point 0.2 of the distance. At point 0.6, moon mist is complete. At point 0.63, moon mist starts towards sandy brown. At point 0.9 of the distance, sandy brown fully appears. The last four arguments are the start and end points for an imaginary gradient line that defines the gradient distance and direction. For this example, the gradient line runs vertically from the top to the bottom of the stage. As well, the gradient colors and changes are going to be exactly within the boundaries of the stage. The start point x and y values are zero. The end point x value needs to be the same as the start point x value because the gradient is vertical, so we'll use zero to match. The end point y value is the height of the stage. We can use the stage canvas object to get that value. Stage, then the canvas property, and height. And that completes the begin linear gradient fill arguments. Now that we have the fill defined, we can draw a rectangle the size of the canvas. For that, we use the draw rect graphics class method. Start with the shape, the graphics object, the draw rect method. There are four arguments. First are the start x and y positions at zero. Third, the width using the stage canvas property, the stage object, the canvas property, and the width property. In the same way for the height, the stage object, canvas property, and the height property. And close the draw rec argument. Then we should dismiss the fill settings for the shape, the graphics object, and the end fill method. Next, we can add the shape to the stage, the add child method, and the name of the shape, and close the method. The sequence you add children to an ESOL.js container determines layering. The BG shape is the first added to the stage, so it will appear behind the sun shape object added further down. Refresh the file in your web browser. Now you see the animation over the background gradient. Try experimenting with the begin linear gradient fill method arguments to make other interesting fills. Thank you for watching.